Hi, and welcome to my channel, Saute and Santé. Today we're going to be making kotlet, a Persian dish. Some people refer to it as kotlet. I grew up eating this dish and it's one of my ultimate favorites. I'm certain that you'll love it too. Let's move on to the ingredients. For today's recipe, you'll need two pounds of ground meat. I'm using 85-15, but you could definitely use 80-20 as well. Uh, you'll need also a cup of breadcrumbs, one large or medium, medium to large size onion, two large eggs, uh, a bunch of Italian parsley, and for the spices I have equal parts, uh, um, one teaspoon of chili pepper flakes, onion powder, salt, pepper, turmeric, garlic powder, and paprika. I added a little bit more garlic powder because I like it a little bit more garlicky. Now let's get started. To our bowl, you want to add all your spices. And also your eggs. The onion, I like to have it finely minced, so I like to put it in a food processor. So I'm just gonna clean it up right here. Take off the outer layer. And at this point, you can kind of cut it in six pieces. And then we'll go ahead and add this to the food processor. So after I process the onions in the food processor, so this is the consistency that I have. It's very finely chopped. Um, and then we can go ahead and add this back to our bowl. For our parsley, you want to take maybe about uh, like one third of the bunch. Make sure that it's clean. And then you want to kind of scrunch it up and chop it up. So now we've combined all of our ingredients and now it's time to mix it all and incorporate it all together. When uh, handling um, with like uh, raw meat, I like to use gloves. So let's just get in there and make sure that everything is incorporated. So once everything is incorporated, just like this, we, go, we can go ahead and add our breadcrumbs to a dish. And what we're going to do, so we'll even this out. What we want to do is go ahead and take about a palm full of the meat and kind of put it all together and flatten it out into an oval shape. Once you have an oval shape like that, all you need to do is go ahead and press it down into the breadcrumbs, coat it completely, make sure that all the sides are coated, and then do the next one. And when you're done, this is what they'll kind of look like. I was able to get, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 uh, got let out of it. So now let's get to frying. You want to preheat your pot or pan to medium heat. And then we're going to go ahead and add some avocado oil. 
make sure that it coats the pan. So we want to make sure that the pan is, is hot and ready and the way you can tell that is by taking a little bit of your breadcrumbs and sprinkling it in there and see if it starts to bubble. So, so far right now it's not um, ready yet. Let's heat it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So let's add some more and there you see it's, it's started to bubble a little bit. So now we can go ahead and add our gauntlet. You want to make sure that when putting the gauntlet into the pan that you are putting it away from you. You don't want this hot oil to splash on top of you. So you're going to put this down and put it away. You want to put this down and put it away. Just like that. And you don't want to overcrowd the pan either. You want to cook this, make sure that it's, it's golden brown on the bottom and then you want to flip, flip over. It'll probably take a couple minutes per side depending on your heat and your oven or your stove top I should say. Um, but definitely take a look at it, keep your eye on it so that way you don't burn the oil or the cutlet. So now we're ready to flip these guys over. So again, you want to flip it away from you. So as you can see, it's a nice golden brown. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the rest of these over get the rest of them um, cooked and then we'll go ahead and plate. There you go. Before plating, I went ahead and put the gauntlet on a paper towel to soak up the excess oils. And then I added the gauntlet. Um, we typically like to serve it with some fries. Um, you can eat this with bread, lavash bread, pita bread, um, or even rice as well. So here we have the gauntlet. I put three pieces. I put some um, fries on the side and then I kept a little bit of my Italian parsley for garnish. So I like to have a pop of color. So here we go. I'm gonna add that to the plate. And then I always like to add some salt. I love salt. So there we go. Then this is some Malden salt. And that completes my take on gauntlet. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share your comments. And remember, be happy, laugh often, saute, and sante. See you next time.